The forehand serve is one of the first things you should learn when starting badminton, but so many people have problems with their quality and consistency. So, in this video, we're going to teach you the technique for a forehand serve that you can rely on, go through the different varieties, and also share some serving tactics to give you an advantage from the start of the rally. The forehand serve is mainly used in singles, and at the professional level, it's more often used in women's singles, but many men still use it too especially non-pros, and we'll explain why later in the video when we discuss tactics for this serve. So firstly, you should aim to make your serving action simple so that you can repeat it again and again. But as with most shots in badminton, there isn't a definitive right or wrong technique, and you'll see many different styles of the forehand serve, whether that's the sneaky serve, the rocket launch, or the relaxed approach. By the way, they aren't the official names, we've just made them up for this video. No matter which technique you want to do, from watching hundreds and hundreds of forehand serves, there are some fundamental rules that apply to all of them. We're now going to go through the step-by-step -step technique for the relaxed forehand serve, as it's most common and the easiest to do. So, starting with the preparation, you want to be in a forehand grip, holding the racket lower down to create a longer lever. And this means that you can generate more power on the high serve. You'll also be holding the racket lower down in your next shot too. Depending what feels comfortable to you, your racket should be between a 45 degree angle like this to horizontal and anywhere from in line with your body to further back like this. Having your racket too vertical or too far in front will create a lot of racket movement, which reduces your control. Moving on to your stance, you should have your non-racket foot in front of you facing forwards and your racket leg foot facing sidewards. This foot positioning allows you to face sideways, which is really important to create your power and control, but we'll come back to this in the hitting action section. The last step of the preparation is holding the shuttle. You should hold it with your thumb and three fingers, wrapping them around this section here in between the cork and the feathers. Now, the angle that you hold the shuttle will depend on your chosen technique. For the sneaky serve, you would hold the shuttle with the cork facing downwards. For the rocket launch, you would hold it more the opposite way, with the cork facing upwards like this. And for the more common relaxed serve, you would hold the shuttle at around this 45 degree angle. So moving on to the hitting action. For the racket swing, you want to move it forward in one simple motion. And at the same time you do this forwards movement, you should transfer the weight from your racket leg to your non-racket leg and rotate your hips to face forwards. Both the weight transfer and rotation help to add more power into your high serve. If you started by facing forwards or face sideways but didn't rotate, you would lose a lot of power and control. But a key point here, don't move your back leg. We see a lot of people dragging or lifting their back leg off the ground, which is a fault. You have to keep part of both feet in the same place until you've hit the shuttle. Now for the most difficult part of the forehand serve, which is the timing. And this starts with when to release the shuttle. For the relaxed serve, you want to release the shuttle as you're starting your forwards motion. To release the shuttle, you should slightly move your arm forwards, drop the shuttle, and then move your arm out of the way. These three steps are really important. If you don't move your arm slightly forwards, then you're likely to drop the shuttle too close to your body, making it more difficult to hit. And if you try to throw the shuttle rather than drop it, this will hugely reduce your control. Whilst you're moving your racket forwards, you should squeeze your grip as you strike the shuttle. This helps you increase the racket speed and generate more power. And make sure you're hitting it with a flat racket face so that you don't slice the shuttle. But what if you don't need to generate power as you want to do a low serve? Well, here you should still rotate your hips, but you squeeze your grip much less. This reduced squeeze and slower swing speed enables you to create more control, which is really important on a low serve. And this is because you have much less time to react if you hit a loose serve. After you've hit the shuttle, you don't want a huge follow through. Ideally, your hands shouldn't go any higher than your head. And if you do a short serve, your follow through should be shorter as you need to be ready for the next shot. As we mentioned earlier, you want to keep your preparation and hitting technique simple and this will help your consistency and quality, especially when you get nervous. Yeah, and everyone has a slightly different serving technique, but if you follow these steps, then hopefully you can consistently deliver a quality forehand serve. Now, where should you serve to? There are six main areas to serve to. 
a low forehand serve to the tee, to the middle, or out wide towards the tram line. But remember, the tram lines are out in singles. And a high forehand serve, again, to the tee, to the middle, or towards the tram line. Because you don't want to make a mistake on your serve, it's often better to hit it to the middle. But more on serving tactics in the next section. Now, to add even more variation, you can vary the height of your high serve, hitting it either really high, which makes it more difficult for your opponent to time because they'll have to strike the side of the shuttle, or a flatter serve to confuse them and give them less time to get behind it. This is especially effective if you've been using the low serve a lot. With the sneaky serve, you can also throw in some deception by increasing the speed of your swing at the last millisecond. So it looks like you're going to do a low serve and then you flick it over their head. So you now know how to serve and also where you can serve to, but the final step is the tactics and to think about why you're serving to a certain area. For example, if you serve high towards the tram line, then the likely reply is often a straight shot down the line and you can therefore anticipate this and play a cross-court block. You should also think about your opponent's strengths. So, if they're really attacking and fast onto your low serve, then you might want to give yourself more time at the start of the rally and use the high serve instead. Or, if they have a really good attack and keep hitting winning shots from your high serve, then you might change to a low serve. And you should probably try to improve your defence too. We'll leave links to videos we've made on how to do that in the description below. And if you're struggling with your serving, don't be afraid to make adjustments. For example, if you keep hitting it out, maybe take one step back. Or if it's never reaching the back tram lines, then maybe take one step further forwards. So hopefully you've now perfected your forehand serve, but you might be wondering, should I be doing this or a backhand serve? Well, it's really down to personal preference, along with your strengths and the strengths of your opponents that you come up against. We've done some research and 45% of the top 20 women singles players in the world do forehand serves most of the time, whereas almost 100% of the men singles players use the backhand serve. You could even switch mid-game, and this is something Brian Yang did in Indonesia in a match I was actually commentating on. At 16-19 down in the third game, he made this bold move because Ginting had hit a winning shot from his previous low serve. That's unbelievable. <laughs> He's just changed to a forehand high serve. serve. And this change helped him go on to win the match. Brian Yang has pulled off something truly remarkable here. Now, if you want to learn how to do the backhand serve, then click this video here from the early days of our channel. And lastly, make sure you drop the video a like, smash the subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll hopefully see you on another video very soon. Bye.